Hello, adventurers! I'm Gray, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where we have a ton to do. Oh man, excuse me. <laughs> so, one thing I do want to get is a circular saw at some point. So I figure a good way to do that is I think complex iron parts give more red points. So it might be good to craft quite a few of these so we can get to 200, because I think we need to get to 200. However, that means we're going to need more iron. And in order to get more iron, we can just mine it, and that'll also give us other points as well while we do that. Yeah, so we do need to get to 200 total. Um, While we're at it, though, we might as well just craft ourselves some resources and go exploring. And clear out as many pathways as we can using what we have on us, basically. So we're going to need to spend some more wood resources to get a whole lot of flitch. We can also probably work on upgrading our graveyard as well, since we do have the capacity to... Because this stuff isn't too expensive to get. We could also get marble at some point, fairly soon. It wouldn't be too difficult, actually. For now, though, we'll get a ton of flitch. A lot of flitch. We need a lot of flitch. Da -da -da. Cut, cut, cut. And while we're working on all this stuff, it might be fun... Oh, crap. Man, I'm all get so, so tired so quickly now. Okay, I was going to mention, since we have the capacity to now, while we're doing what we're doing, we could also work on the quest for flyers and things like that at the same time, because that's not too difficult to do. So what we could do with this is we need 10 flyers and we need, I believe, 20 firewood in order to make the Inquisitor happy. For the flyers, we're going to need some ink. For the firewood, we're going to need... To craft firewood out of wood billets, which unfortunately we cannot make anymore because we just spent all our logs on flitches, which is a darn shame. So we're going to have to chop down at least one tree or so. I wish I could chop down the bigger trees. I think that's going to be a skill I'm going to need to get for that. Also, there's a skill I can get to give me more resources from each tree I chop down. Plus it gives me red points for everyone I chop down too, so I can get to 200 fairly quickly. There's so much to do! Ah! I'm getting overwhelmed by the pure number of things I can focus on at the same time, which is a good problem to have, because previously I had no idea what I was doing. Ooh. So how much? I needed 20 firewood. So there we go. Flyers, I'm going to need two sets of ink, which means I'm going to need to unlock the skill. So I'm going to need to spend some red points to unlock the ability to make ink. So it's in here, I believe. Yeah. Let's do this. So what do I need to make ink? Church workbench is where it's crafted at, so I'm going to need probably something to craft it. Let's go check it out. Let's, let's go see. Because this is going to be important. We need ink for more than just flyers. We need it also for that other guy's quest. And I think we needed that. How much do we need for the other guy's quest at, at the uh, tavern? I'll check in a moment. Hello there, Mr. Church Workbench. Ink requires conical flasks at furnace 2, pen and ink requires feather and ink, water and black paint at the alchemy workbench. That's not easy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to need a second tier furnace and an alchemy workbench. Which I'm not sure where to get. Okay, so it seems like it'll be difficult for me to make it right now. However, I can buy it from the Astrologer. And it is the day of the Astrologer. However, it costs a silver and 50 in order to do it. And I just realized that I left this body here without thinking about it. And... Yeah, I, I did mess up when I was trying to remove its some of its pieces, just the blood in particular. So it's not the highest quality thing ever, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I probably, oh, I can't put any trunks in here. Dang. I'll bury him. Why not? Because I'm thinking I try and make a little bit of money, enough to get some ink, and then we can use that. I mean, it's already too late to turn in his thing, so... Whatever, we'll work, we'll work on it for now. That's sort of our one of our goals that we're doing, along with improving the graveyard and everything else that we're doing in general. A ton to do. A ton to do at the same time. Too much to just memorize. But we can make some money now, which is a good thing. By selling our certificates. I don't know how much they'll give us, but 
it'll be good. And also, we have several sites to improve now. So if we get some more wood, get some more resources, we'll get red points at the same time as we do it. And we'll also gain a lot, a lot more progress, I guess, in many ways. Ooh, on the bright side, it looks like our crops are done. So gimme, gimme, gimme crops, gimme crops. We have a small garden, so it's really easy to harvest, which is nice. And there we go. Our inventory is full again. We have our inventory is way too full right now. I need to clear some stuff pretty badly. <laughs> uh. All right, things are looking good in here though, because now we have enough crops for the merchant. So once the merchant pops up, we'll be good to go with him. What did the astrologer want again? And can we get that done right now? The old keeper's diary from the church cellar. Hmm. Where was that old keeper's diary? Did I did I get that? I don't I completely forgot to check. I'll take a look, we'll see. Okay, I'm guessing it should be in here somewhere, right? Where would it be? Is it down here? Do I need to clear this out? I mean I can't clear it out right now, that's for sure. Down there is where I uh, is the more or where I take care of the where I, it's where I cut the bodies open. Okay, it looks like if I'm going to do that to get the diary, I need to do some quest for Snake first, which means I'm going to need to get some faith to convince him that I'm worth helping. All right, let's build ourselves a church workbench though. Might as well improve our area. We need some more wooden planks. How about wall candelabras? Where can I put them? Is there is there no locations where it would fit? Like this? How, do, how does this work? There's no place where I can put the wall candelabra as it looks like for now. How about a regular candelabra? Oh, I can. Okay. Here. There we go. So our place is looking quite a bit better now. If we get a couple more benches in, we can guarantee a successful ritual next time using our basic thing. I don't know. I kind of just want to keep on expanding our stuff and just making more resources and all that. The usual. Let's go see if we can make some money though. You know, while we're here, we might as well throw some coal on the fire and get ourselves a nice little set of iron smelting. Let it go as we move. That's always a good thing to have going. Hello there, I'm here to wheel and deal. You can call me Hollow the Wise Wolf because I am the best at selling things. I'm the best tradesman. There you go. Barrel certificate. Boop, boop, boop. And that's actually not bad money. Here we go, 527. That's not too bad. We can get a teleport stone if we want. I'm guessing those can't be used too often. No, I don't want, I don't want to buy one right now. In the future, that might be a useful thing to have. And now we have enough money to buy ourselves two sets of ink, actually, which is good because we need two. One for a quest and one for the flyers. Because one ink will be converted into three pen and inks, which I think I can get some feathers from this thing. Yeah. So I, I, need, I need some feathers from this. I think three is what I need for the ink. There you go. Three is what I need for uh, one set of ink and feather, but do I need a second one? Does this guy's quest want an ink or an ink and a feather? Let's see, where is it? Ten paper, just an ink. Okay, so I only need three feathers for now. Also, I can go ahead and give Dig the honey he so desperately needs for whatever fetish he has. Uh, I didn't say anything. Uh, here you go, Dig. Here's the honey. <laughs> sweet, sweet dude. What about that cake recipe? Just remember, a cake can never be too sweet. Sweetness can help you see things from the other point of view, so you can learn more. Oh cool, I can I can make cake now. Probably not gonna make one for a long time, but it is an option. And I'm guessing it probably fills me up pretty well and gives me, or at least it gives me good energy. That would make more sense. It gives me good stamina, because it is cake. It makes you hyper and all that. Hello, Mr. Astrologer. Astrologer? You here? Hello? Is he here? Is he supposed to be here? 
It's usually at the lighthouse, right? I mean, what about you, man? Oh, I need to bring a mops for you to get a fishing rod. I mean, I'd like to get a fishing rod so I can catch the fish myself and make some good fillets, but problem is I'm going to need to spend technology to unlock the ability to catch bugs. Which I think is in farming and nature. Yeah, it costs some... Actually, I'm alright with that. I'll do that. Why not? And I'm going to find them when exploring a little bit. Writing notes and chapters. Writer's inspiration. Bookshelf desk 2. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just browsing. There's a whole lot to do. Furnace 2. I need that at some point. Glass blower to make conical flasks. That would be very important. So now that I can find moths and stuff, where do I get moths? Okay, I know now that to get moths, I gotta pick up some flowers, so let's see what we can find. At least I think it was. You pick up flowers and they said there's a chance you can get bugs. Yeah, there we go, moth. So we just keep doing this until we get the one we need. It shouldn't take so much energy to pick up flowers, come on, man. Work, work those uh, muscles. Hmm, I'm kind of upset because I wanted to buy some stuff from the astrologer. And he didn't show up. Like, he's not here. Was it just because it was too late that he wasn't here? Like, he already started leaving, walking away somewhere? That's rather frustrating. Because I really wanted to buy that ink so I could be ready for when the merchant came again. And... Oh god, let's hunt down. Let's just try and get some mobs. I want to get a fishing rod. Alright, we have ourselves six moths from picking up random flowers from the wilderness. And we're going to give this random weirdo six moths because that's apparently all it takes to get a fishing rod from a guy now. Why is no one around when I need people to be around? <sighs> Gee. <laughs> I just want to turn in my quests and get some things done, and everyone keeps leaving. It's so annoying. It's what my least favorite mechanic of this game. Okay, what can I get from this machine? Nothing. I checked it out before. It didn't really work out, but whatever. God dang. Why can't, the, why can't you just hang around all the time? Come on. Why can't I set time to be whatever I want it to be? I bought feathers. I, have, I got the money I needed to buy the ink. I got the moths I needed to trade for the fishing rod, and I can't do any of it. And now I'm going to go home and not have the energy left to do anything. <laughs> and I'm going to go to sleep and then I'm going to wake up and it's going to be too late to do a prayer. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Hey there, snake. I know, you're too busy to talk to me. Blah, 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 jerk. We've all got our own lives, snake, but I'm always willing to talk. Why aren't you? What do you even do all these every day? How do you make money, snake, huh? Actually, I don't want to know. It's probably in something not legal. Okay, so I know that you can only do another prayer every time it hits another priest day. However, does that mean that I, can I do it any day so within this next week that comes up so long as it's after the priest day? Because if so, that means I don't need to hurry too much to do the prayer. But if I have to do it today, then that means that I want to build one more church bench just to guarantee success. So I'm going to need a little bit more wood. And then hopefully this doesn't take too long to do. And I'll just make some log so we can make a new bench and get going from there. Oop. What does it take to make uh, to make logs again? Wooden plank. Okay, actually we can make plenty. Let's go. Let's do it. Ah, uh, it's actually kind of time. Oh, we got, we got a good amount of points for this though. I should craft quite a few of these because we can... Oh, I can get enough red points to make ourselves a circular saw this way. I just need to craft like 25 of these, which I have enough resources to craft 25 of them. We can get ourselves a nice, a nice circular saw and then we can open up a lot of shortcuts. Not now, my son. Okay, he's leaving. Technically, there's still time. It's not midnight yet. There's still time to get this prayer done if it has to be done by the day. One more bench. One more bench here. Actually, it won't guarantee success, but it'll make it a really high chance. What? Why can't I pray? I mean, I know I don't have the prayer thing on me. It's downstairs, but... 
It's it's still the day of the prayer. What the heck? What the heck? It's still now the day has changed, but why? Why? That is so annoying. What? What? It was the day that I could do the prayer, and it wouldn't let me do it. I waited a whole week to do another prayer. Come on. Come on. I, I need more faith. It's so annoying. Why? Well, I guess I gotta wait another week for it to let me do the prayers. Jesus. I mean, literally Jesus. I need to see him right now. That's why I'm praying. Also, there's no carrots in here, so I'm not going to get any more bodies. That's fine. That's fine. Before I get more bodies, I need to first make sure the graveyard looks decent, so. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to get a circular saw, just so we don't have to walk so far every time we have to do every little thing. Wooden planks. Make like 20 of them. There we go. Why not? Why not? We have the ability to. Why not? Actually, while I do this, I think... It's getting to a point where we can end the episode. Actually, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna read this dumb article real quick. Because I found a random article online that's titled The Nine Craziest Things Seized by US Customs and Border Protection. I don't know why, but I found the article to be pretty funny. <laughs> so uh for, to end this episode off, why not read through this a little bit? So, this was on Fox News, by the way. I just like looked up silly news articles, and this is the first thing that popped up. It's from today. So the first thing that they say that was seized by Customs and Border Protection is uh, live pigeons. Because apparently a 23-year-old Australian man, those Australians, they'd be crazy, had, had two live pigeons um, in, in under his pant legs in padded envelopes secured to his legs with a pair of tights. That's right, pigeons wrapped in envelopes, basically, in his socks. How no one noticed his bulging, like, thighs, uh, ankles, <laughs> bulging ankles, nothing else with pigeons inside is beyond me, but that's pretty crazy, honestly. <laughs> uh, he apparently got fined a lot, so. This next guy, um, found Egyptian mummy linen. Coming through the northern border, so I guess in uh, from Canada, apparently. So they don't know who shipped it, but apparently they recovered it and are sending it back to where it need should be at, which is good, I guess. Man, but some people send some crazy stuff. I remember reading a story about how in years ago people would actually, it was technically legal to send children through the postage just because they said that they would send anything under eleven pounds, and like when you're a newly born child is there he's less than a, or he or she is less than 11 pounds so you can mail your son to another house if you wanted to and they would legally have to do it um very soon after someone tried doing that and it worked they changed the law and made it so that they couldn't do that but that was the thing that was a thing for a while it's a fun fact anyway um let's unlock ourselves a circular saw and see what it costs to make it probably more than i can afford but at least we have it now now we're out of red points, so that's a darn shame. One more complex knife. That's cheap. That's pretty cheap. All right. So we're going to do that, and that's where we're going to end off the episode. I'm going to quickly read through this stuff because I don't want this to go on too long. But the next couple things are live tarantulas, which is definitely a great idea of a thing to keep on you. A man disguised as a car seat. So he attempted to illegally enter the U.S. by sewing himself into a car seat. I didn't even read this article ahead of time. That, that, that I don't know if that's uh, stupid or just a guy having a good time, honestly. <laughs> if he's just like messing around to troll the border patrol, like, I, can, I can respect that. <laughs> okay, circular saw, down. Next is black market bologna. You know what, I would like some of that black market bologna. I could go for some right now, honestly. I'm pretty hungry. After this, I'm gonna eat some pizza. Live songbirds. What is like the trend of bringing birds if you illegally through? Beams aren't even that expensive. This is this is good. We're gonna make some good progress next time. 
A whole pig's head. I see. Why is this guy bringing a pig's head through the airport? Apparently it was sniffed out by a dog, which makes sense that a dog would be able to detect a pig's head coming through. Beyond that though, there's dead birds for pet food, apparently, which is illegal of course. Apparently they bought it from China, which is sold in China, but they were illegal to have in America, so they, so they uh, incinerated them. And then live tropical fish as well, which I'll, I'm guessing a, a lot of the illegal stuff people bring are wildlife. So don't bring wildlife with you on planes, kids and adults also. Not, you don't just have to be kids to not be to be st not stupid, you know. Adults can be just as stupid. So don't do it. Anyway, that'll be a good place to end off this episode for now. We have ourselves our circular saw, which is great. So. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd appreciate a like, comment, or a subscription. It really does help me out. And I hope to see you all on the next adventure.